Looking to take your Madden game to the next level while dominating kids in Weekend League? And learn high level schemes from some of the best Madden pros in the world? Make sure you check out Hot Route Tips and use code CHAOS for 10% off at checkout. What's up everybody, Chaos here, and yes, I'm super excited to bring you guys this video today. I've been wanting to bring this video to you guys for a while, but it was a big part of my offensive ebook, so I wanted to make sure I finished that first. And if you guys want to allow me to plug for a second, if you ask me, you're the real seller. I just finished my offensive ebook over at HotRot.Tips. If you haven't checked that out already, make sure you guys check out the link in the description below for HotRot.Tips. And guys, this is the best offensive ebook I've ever made. I was so detailed with it. I really put a ton of time into it. I showed you how to attack different parts of the field. I showed you coverage beaters. I gave and dedicated an entire section to cover zero. I know you guys are seeing cover zero online everywhere. It's extremely annoying. It's extremely popular. And it's relatively tough to beat if you don't know what you're doing or you just haven't seen it a ton. So I broke down an entire section on how to attack cover zero. So that stuff will never hurt you again. So make sure you guys check out the website. It's $14.99 for a monthly membership, which gives you access to every ebook we release throughout the entire year. And then a yearly membership, which is uh, $119.99. So make sure you guys check that out. Okay, it's video time. I do want to ask you guys though very quickly, please continue to smash that like button. You guys have been killing it for me. Madden 20 has been unbelievable. So please continue to do that. If we get 500 likes on this video, I will continue to bring you guys fire tips like this to help you guys become better Madden players now. Let's get it. Okay, so today I'll be breaking down the best route of Madden 20. And the best route of Madden 20 is the fade stop. Yes, guys, I'm in the Cardinals trips right now and the play is called fade stops. Just thought it'd be funny to run this play, but you can really pretty much run it in any book or any scheme you want. I know in Gun Bunch, I have it on the ISO receiver side for Z spot. Additionally, if you have the Hot Route Master with Brady, you can make the Hot Route yourself. You guys can see in the bottom right hand corner down on the D pad is Fade Stop. Also, you can do this if you have the outside apprentice or anything like that on your receiver. So it is a Hot Route, so you guys can pretty much implement it into any scheme that you guys want. Now, if you guys follow me on Twitter, I'm sure you guys have seen me raving about the fade stop. There's just so many different things you can do about it. And today I'm going to be showing you guys something that no one else has talked about or shown with the fade stop. And I'll also be touching on a couple of things that other people have talked about. I know Playbook made a video on it. Their link will be in the description uh, for, for this video. But if you guys want to check that out, you can. I'll be touching on something new that no one has talked about with the fade stop. And additionally, touching on a couple of the main points of what's so good about this fade stop that other people have talked about. So you're definitely going to want to stick around for that, guys. I highly recommend staying throughout the entire video simply because you need to see how you can beat the different coverages, cover two, cover three, cover four, cover zero, etc., with just this one route, guys. There's so many different things you can do for it. So let's get into it. Okay, guys, so we're starting off in cover two here. I'm going to show you guys how the fade stop beats that. Now, some of you may be wondering or asking what makes the fade stop any different than a curl and there's two reasons for that really and i'll be showing you guys throughout this video the first one is against cover zero so do we when we get to the cover zero section i will show you guys why the fade stop is better than the curl and then secondly at the end of the video i'll be showing you guys the smart routed fade stop which is a very very good route and i'm using that a ton as well and that's something that you can't do with the curl if you smart route a curl it doesn't move so that's two reasons why i like the fade stop a lot better now let's get into this thing. They're in non-baseline cover two. And you're just gonna see this, this uh, face up is gonna sit in a nice little pocket. You low ball it in there and you catch it. You're pretty much gonna be able to do this every time. It's tough to get a reaction when you low ball passes, especially the shorter they are. So the fade stop is a little bit shorter than the curl. So that's another reason why I like that. So I'll baseline this time. You're just gonna see it just gets in this little pocket and it allows you a little window to throw this low ball right in there. And your guy will usually just come like one or two steps forward, make the play. And the low pass is so fast and the guy comes back towards it that it makes it very tough to a def for a defender who's behind him to make a play. So now I'll just press. So I've done non-baseline, baseline, and now man press, or excuse me, just press, not man press. And since so a nice low pocket, you can fit it in. Now that's pretty much it for cover two guys. It's relatively simple. I mean, you can just keep low ball, like low ball on this thing in and it's a safe throw. The guy's gonna come back and cut off the defender and make the play on it. Another thing that's great about it is if they're blitzing you, you still get it out very quickly. So like, as you see here, if I blitz this guy, blitz this guy, they're sending six at me, right? I'm just going to quickly throw, like throw this thing in before the blitz can even get there and they go and make a play for it. So that's what's so great about this fade stop against cover two. Now let's cut and go to cover three. Okay. So now we're going to show it against cover three with hard flats. You guys saw it gets underneath the cloud. It sits in a perfect pocket to keep them boxed out behind them. So you might think, oh, well, if you play hard flats, maybe it'll just sit underneath it and you won't be able to throw it in there. But you guys see, perfect little window, a uh, little bit of a bad pass lead there, but you guys see the window's clearly there. 
and you guys can see that you're gonna be able to throw that safely pretty much every single time without having to worry. Bam, right there, just throw it in that nice little pocket and let the guy work for you. So I'll show cover three with the press now, but it pretty much is gonna be the same result every time, guys. The cover three zone, the deep third zone is gonna drop back and the hard flat's gonna sit too far underneath. So right there with press, still have a perfect triangle window right there to fit that ball in. So now we'll show against cover four with hard flats just to show you guys quickly that it's still gonna beat that as well. Okay guys, now I'm just gonna quickly show you cover four with hard flats. I only showed a couple times because you guys already know that what the result's gonna be. You're gonna be able to throw it right there, right in the little pocket, and you're good to go. I'll show it just one more time. And then we'll cut to cover zero, which is a big, big reason why I love these routes so much. Now, if you do play purples, I will note that you will be able to guard it uh, with the hard flat. You need the, you kind of need both, excuse me, the purple with the deep blue. Kind of need both, and I'll leave them here just to show you guys that will guard it. It's probably the only thing that does. But honestly, I don't really know anyone that plays cover four with purples. Yeah, so you guys are going to see it's going to sit in a nice little spot right underneath it, which is probably the perfect scenario for you. Really the only thing that guards it. So let's jump into cover zero. Okay, so now we're in cover zero. As you guys see, I set it up the way people are online. They basically just send seven at you guys and make you guys make a very, very quick read. So I'm just gonna have a face up over on the left. And it's gonna be real simple, guys. That he's gonna get pressed pretty bad and you are need to be able to get this ball out quick, right? So that's why it makes the fade stop so much better than the curl. No matter if you put a fade stop or a curl, you're gonna get pressed pretty badly. But the quicker you can break, the better. So at the 30 yard line is where the curl is gonna break, essentially, and around the 35 is where the fade stop is. So you guys know if someone's sending seven at you, you're either gonna get a guy free or they're gonna have a very quick shed. Now I'm max proing here just to make sure we have time to throw it. But for the most part, even if you max pro, these guys are gonna eventually get a guy free rather quickly. So you'll see Demarius Thomas get pressed pretty bad here but you're still gonna be able to throw this fade stop because of how quickly he breaks. Bam, right there, low ball that thing in, and you can make a play. Now, let me go back to the replay here and just show you guys, even with how bad he got pressed, like he got crushed pretty good right there, eventually breaks off, and you can throw it very quickly. Now, if I had waited any more time, one of these guys probably would have gotten up and sacked me or gotten through. Uh, this this end right here was coming in now if you get pressed with a curl You're probably gonna break around right here those three extra yards take like an extra second with how they're getting pressed So it's definitely something that you guys need to be like conscious like conscious of and make sure you guys are using the face off instead of the curl if possible Okay, gonna set this thing back up rather quickly here just so you guys can see it And you guys are gonna see this this face off is gonna get pressed just like a curl would but eventually you're gonna be able to throw it once he breaks Bam right there and you're able to make the play. Okay, gonna set this thing back up one more time here quickly. And you guys are gonna be able to see that this guy's gonna get pressed pretty good, but you're gonna still be able to throw this thing. He got crushed right there, bam, low ball that thing, and you make the play. Okay, but now I'm gonna show you guys just quickly one time how good it is against backed off cover zero. It doesn't even it doesn't even phase it. Like you're gonna see how quickly and easy you can throw this thing. There's just so much space there, and you can easily fit that thing in. So it's gonna crush cover zero. Now, I'm not going to say every single time if they man press you, he's going to be wide open the way he was in these clips. Every once in a while, depending on your receiver's uh, skill level, he will get pressed into the ground. It will happen. Uh, that's going to happen with pretty much any route in the game outside of a wheel route. But for the most part, this fade stop is going to be very good for you. Now, if I put the curl out there just rather quickly to show you guys, you're going to see he's going to get pressed and he's not going to cut for a longer time and you're going to have trouble throwing it because... He goes all the way out there, and by the time he did that, we were sacked. So it's different than the fade stop in that it just, he goes further down the field. So the fade stop's usually breaking around right here. So as he goes out on his curl, he goes about three, four more yards out. Like, and he did get open. Like I said, fade stops and curls are going to beat man. But these two guys, they eventually shed or come in free, and you're going to struggle to make plays because those two, three, four yards are actually going to make a big difference. Okay, so to finish this video off, we're back in the best play in the game. We're back in fade stops. I'm going to be showing you guys the smart route of fade stop now. And it's pretty much the best route in the game because it gets over any flat zone while getting underneath any deep blues. Around 10 yards to the mark is probably your sweet spot. So first and 10, second and 10. You can do it around second 11, second 12, second and 13. But you don't want to get too far down the field that a deep blue can make a play while the ball is still in the air. So you're going to see around 10 yards is that sweet spot. 
and you're gonna see here that cover two zone just comes down a little bit and you fit in that nice little pocket. I like to pass lead it up just to give yourself a little bit more space, a little bit more area to work with to make sure that cloud plot doesn't make a play. But with the trajectory this year, you're not gonna have too many issues, guys. Um, these guys have to be very close to the ball to make a play. Like he doesn't even come close to that. If they do come close, they usually put their arms up to try to catch it in whiff. So that just shows that he wasn't close to it. So let's quickly show this again against cover two. That was basin line, so I'll show you guys non basin line now. And you guys are gonna see it doesn't really make a difference. You're still gonna be able to sit right in that nice little pocket and pass lead it up, make the play, right? So you'll see it against cover two. Now I'll show you guys against cover four with cloud flats. So just baseline it here, cover four, cloud flats. You guys are gonna see, still gonna get to a nice perfect spot on the field above the cloud flat and underneath the deep quarter uh, zone. Right there, perfect pocket. Now if, it's, if there's a hard flat there, I'll usually low ball it because it keeps the deep quarter from making like even a chance of making the play. But if there's a cloud flat there, you can't low ball it because they might actually make a play and pick it off. But it gets over it and it gets underneath enough that you can just pass it regularly. Just to be safe, I like to low ball stuff in this game, but you guys are seeing it's an easy catch. Possession it, get down, whatever it may be. I'll show you guys uh, cover three press now just to show you guys that. But it's gonna get under that uh, deep third two and get over this cloud flat. So it doesn't even really make a difference. And I forgot to smart route it. That's my bad. Definitely found a cover three beater for you guys. So I'll keep this in just for the little tidbit. Oh my gosh, you guys saw the cover three beater out there. I know you guys saw it, but we'll go to cover three press here. <laughs> oh, that's funny. So we're going back to cover three here. And you guys are gonna see, it's gonna cut underneath, perfect pocket, and you're good to go. It doesn't really matter what they run, guys. Um, the only thing that's going to make even a close attempt at making the play is curl flats. So if you look here at cover four curl flats, you can sometimes make a play. I probably wouldn't throw it if I saw this. And you guys are going to see here, it's kind of closer. Like it just looks, it just looks a little bit closer. I don't know. I'll let you guys be the judge on it. I personally might not throw the purple if they can click on and make this play, but the cloud flats is easy money. You're going to be able to throw it every single time, no matter what the shell is, cover two, cover three, cover four. And I already showed you guys that it beats cover zero. I will show you guys that the, the cover, the cover zero still doesn't work against the smart routed one. Now I wouldn't smart route it if I knew they were blitzing, but if they're just a man to man, you can easily just smart route this thing, bam, low ball that thing in. And throw it in there so best route in the game in my opinion guys I utilize it in my offense a ton uh, I utilize it with different route combinations on the backside with posts and corner routes and just different things that you can do with it if you have one on the field the user really has to worry about it whether or not it's regular as I showed you guys in the beginning of the uh, video or if it's smart routed so I hope you guys enjoy man I hope you guys will implement this into your games but that's it for me take it easy peace